So guys, Adobe Illustrator is easily one of the most important softwares that you need to know to be a fashion designer. In today's video, I'm going to first take you through the basics of the pen tool. And secondly, I'm going to show you how fashion designers actually draw garments with it. So let's get started with lesson number one, the basics. So the pen tool looks like this on your toolbar on the left. But the quickest way to get to it is to simply hit P on your keyboard. Before we begin, make sure that the fill color is set to none and your stroke is set to black. And let's give it a go. To start with, if I simply click on the screen, I get a dot like this, which is called an anchor point. And you guys can see this blue line that is following my mouse. That is a preview of what my next drawn line will look like. So I can simply click here and we have another anchor point created. And if I click again, here is another anchor point created. I can keep going on and on to create a shape in this manner. You can create a closed shape like this by connecting your lines back to where you started, or you can keep drawing lines until you create what is called an open path like this. In which case, when you are done drawing, extend your pen tool by a little bit and hit escape on your keyboard to end the line right there. So now here's the deal. If I first create an anchor point like this, then click and drag like so, the line begins to curve and the anchor point I created will suddenly have something called a handle, which can be used to manipulate the curvature of the line. If I keep clicking and dragging, I can get a closed shape with rounded edges like so. On the other hand, I can simply keep drawing curved lines like this to create an open path like this. Once again, when you are done drawing, extend your mouse a bit and hit the escape key to end the line right there. Now let's get a little closer to the curved line that we just made and look at what we can do with the handles that appeared at the anchor points. If I hold down command on my keyboard and click on any anchor point, the handles will reappear and I can now edit them. I'm going to click on this handle like so, drag it to my right. And as you can see, the curve changes itself to become more wider in that direction. In the same way, I can drag the handle to the left to make the curve thinner. I can also move the handle upwards and it will change to look like this. And if we go downwards, this happens. In this way, the curve of a line or a shape can be completely manipulated. Now here's a shortcut that we use commonly in fashion design. Holding down shift while drawing these lines will get you perfect 45 degree angles and 90 degree angles. Let me show you how. So I'm going to create a new anchor point like so, and then hold down shift. And as you can see, the blue line that follows my mouse only snaps into a 45 degree angle or a 90 degree angle, making it super easy for us to draw perfectly straight and perfectly diagonal lines. Go ahead and draw a closed shape. And this is what an open path looks like, forming perfect 90 degree angles at every corner. Keep going and once again when you're done, extend your mouse and hit escape. Okay, so if that much is clear to you, then you have got the basics. Now let me show you how to draw a single shape which has both straight lines and curved lines by showing you the example of drawing a t-shirt. Before we begin, something that is going to help you a lot is to turn on Smart Guides. So come up here to View and click on Smart Guides and I'll show you why it's so important along the way. So for our t-shirt, let's start with just the right half beginning at the hem. I'm going to create a point, then hold down shift to get a straight line to my right, then click and hold down shift again to create my side seam in a straight line upwards. Now for the curved armhole, I'm going to click and drag to get a curved line like this. And now if you see, my blue lines are continuing to show that my next line drawn will have to be a curve as well. But I need to draw the shoulder line which isn't curved. 
So what we're going to do now is bring our mouse back to this anchor point until you see an inverted V symbol appear and then click. Doing that will allow you to go back to creating whatever line you want, straight or curved. So extend it out to create a straight line for the shoulder. And before I click and drag to create the neck round, can you guys see a pink line appearing here? A line that shows me exactly where I can click if I want my next point to be perfectly aligned with the point at the hem. I'm going to follow that pink line and click and drag here. And guys, that pink line was your smart guide. And this is why you saw me turn them on before I started drawing. Now back to the drawing, I'm going to extend my pen tool a bit and hit escape to end the line right there. And the right half of my t-shirt is ready. We'll come back and finish this t-shirt at the end. But for now, let me show you how to edit lines. So there are two common ways to do it. Technique one is to do it mid drawing. And technique two is to come back later and edit once the drawing is done. Use whatever you are comfortable with. For technique one, let's rewind a bit and say that I was in the middle of drawing this t-shirt and maybe I suddenly decide that my armhole is not too accurate because it needs to be more curved. Using the same steps that I showed you in lesson one, I'm going to hold down command on my keyboard and click the anchor point I want modified and the handle will reappear. I can then manipulate it like this. Apart from editing the handle, I can also move the anchor point itself and even other lines like this. When done, release command and you are immediately connected back to the point where you last stopped drawing. And technique two is to draw the right half completely, then come here to the direct selection tool. And if you click on any anchor point, you can manipulate the handle. Again, you can also move the anchor point itself or any lines in your drawing. And that is how you edit your lines if you make a mistake. Now I'm going to additionally run through the other tools linked to the pen tool. If you go back to the pen tool and right click, you will see three additional tools in the menu. These are simple and very straightforward. First, we have the add anchor point tool, which does exactly as it says. It adds a new anchor point anywhere on your shape for you to manipulate. On choosing the direct selection tool, I can manipulate it like so. And the delete anchor point does just that. It deletes any anchor points that you don't want. The last option here, however, is the anchor point tool. What it does is it adds handles to anchor points that don't have them. If you click and drag like so. Let me also add one more handle up here for you guys to see. On the other hand, it also deletes handles from the anchor points that have them like you can see here. It can also very easily add a curve to a line if you simply click and drag like so, making it super useful. So guys, let's use everything that we have learned so far to complete this t-shirt. Let's start with drawing the sleeves. I'm going to first choose my direct selection tool. Then I'm highlighting just this area of the armhole like so, because I want to create a copy of just this curved line. Then use the shortcuts Command C and Command F and a copy of this curved line will be placed right over the original. Use the right arrow key on your laptop's keyboard to move them a bit to the right. Now hit P on your keyboard and draw in the rest of the sleeve, making it a closed shape like we learned. Then move the sleeve back to the left. Now with the selection tool, I'm going to highlight everything and group it together by right clicking and selecting group. Then create a copy again by hitting command C and command F. Once done, right click the copy and go to transform and reflect. Make sure vertical is selected and hit OK. Now drag the copy to the left. And your basic t-shirt outlines are done, but we also need to ensure that the main body of the t-shirt is a closed shape because at the moment the lines are not joined. So with the direct selection tool, highlight the anchor points at the neck, then right click and choose join. This will join both lines together. Also do this at the hem. And this will make the front bodice a closed shape. And closed shapes are important in case you need to color in your sketch. 
So just to show you how, I'm going to highlight everything with a selection tool and come up here and choose a grey fill like this. Let's also go on to draw the back of the t-shirt. I'm going to click the main body with my direct selection tool. Use command C and command B this time to make a copy. And since it has gone to the back, while it is still highlighted, I'm going to right click it and choose isolate selected path. This will put just the back shape in isolation mode and you can now edit it. Everything else is grayed out and your mouse will not touch them. So for the back, the only change we need to do is lift the back neck. So highlight this area with the direct selection tool. Use the arrow keys to move it up like so. And when you're done, double click anywhere on the screen behind the shape to exit the isolation mode. Go on and additionally draw in lines at the neck like so. Now if you're feeling up to it, let's also go ahead and draw in the stitch lines. I'm starting by using the direct selection tool to highlight the line I drew at the sleeve hem. Then copy and paste it and adjust the placement of the line with your arrow keys again. Also create one more line next to it because we are creating a double needle stitch line. Do the same at the hem and the other sleeve. Add one stitch line at the inner neck band. Now highlight all the lines that need to be your stitch lines. Come up here to the stroke width and reduce it to 2. Also open up the stroke panel on the right and select dashed line. This will change your line into a line of dashes making it look like a stitch line. And below here we have the settings where your dash can be 8 and your gap can be 4. As a finishing touch, I'm also going to select the back of my t-shirt and make it a darker grey. Your t-shirt is now done. So if you're feeling a little more adventurous, go ahead and check out this video where I draw a more complex garment with the pen tool. So thank you for watching guys. I will see you next week.